Hi, how are you everybody? It's Reed here. Yesterday, I was out in Los Angeles, 10th Planet HQ with Eddie Bravo. Had such a great time out there preparing for ADCC trials. But today, I am in San Diego, California. And of course, while I'm here, I had to, absolutely had to come to one of the very best academies in the entire world. Of course, I'm talking about Atos HQ here in San Diego. The list of killers on these mats is absolutely endless. I'm talking about guys like of course, the most dominant champion in ADCC history, Andre Galvao. I'm talking about Josh Hanger. Keenan Cornelius trains here. The Rotolo brothers are here training. And it's all in service of this weekend. We have the ADCC trials coming up. A lot of these guys are training. Just the last few training sessions of the week. So we're gonna go inside and see what they got going on in here. See how they're preparing for ADCC trials this week. Of course, one of the biggest competitions of the year. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. Let's jump in and see, see how things are going. Show this leg here, it's just like a leg drag, right? Sometimes you can go for the leg drag like this, okay? It's gonna be really quick, okay? So I go, step one, step two. Surprise my opponent. Don't wait for the opponent to control you. It's just to create a, to build a reaction him. So, boom, and then start. Try to go as fast as you can. And after you pass, do something else. Arm bar, you more a trap, guillotine, whatever, take the back. Just don't stop on the side control. After you pass, think about what you what's gonna be the reaction of your opponent, and then you, you use uh, some technique according to his reaction. One, two, three. Atos HQ in San Diego. It's the last week before the ADCC trials. We're coming up uh, in about four days from now. It's a big deal. ADCC is it's, it's one of the most prestigious grappling tournaments in the world um, for submission grappling. And, uh, and I've never been, and I want to go really badly. And what I'm honestly trying to do here is set an example for all the grapplers in the world that no matter what you've accomplished, no matter what your ranking is, you need to earn your way into it. You cannot sit back on your computer and cry about an invitation. And that's what I'm trying to do, you know. I don't want to be the guy who sits and, and whines and cries about invitations and complains when someone else gets the invitation instead of me. Um, so I'm trying to get out there and earn it. I'm not going to be a competitor forever, you know. I think about things in jiu-jitsu a lot and uh, eventually yeah I, I'll have to stop competing you know and I hope that I can continue my position in the grappling community as you know an active contributor to the community you know even if it's just my thoughts and opinions 
yeah, so I, I made this post about showing up and because people are always messaging me about how do I improve my jiu-jitsu, how do I improve my guard, how do I come back from this injury or how do I recover better and I'm like, man, you just gotta show up, that's it, that's all, you, there's no secret, you can't shortcut it, there's no, there's no magic pill that will make you better at jiu-jitsu, you just have to show up and man, injuries suck and you have to baby them, but you can show up and train. Your guard's gonna get passed a lot, but it's great training. This is the last thing on my bucket list that I really want, you know, and I don't have so many years left and this tournament doesn't happen every year, it's every two years. And like, I don't know what I'm gonna be like two years from now. So I, I just, I can't pass the opportunity to do the trials, I can't. I would just, I would probably eat myself up for the rest of my life if I didn't try. So I'm gonna show up and do my best. Practice what I preach. <laughs> I'm gonna watch my legs. I know everyone's like hunting legs over there, but I got I'm trying to show the world that look, you don't have to be a leg hunter to win, you know, you can jump on the head too. <laughs>
So really I'm not worried about winning or losing. I'm worried about just giving my best performance. Hopefully my best performance means I win. If not, you know, I'm gonna just give the crowd what they want, show every opponent I have that they should never want to fight me again. That's the goal. And hopefully just, you know, be entertaining. Maybe get an invite just for being entertaining. Who knows? Um, just trying to have a good performance, show my best jujitsu, do myself justice, and leave it all out in the mat. So uh, today, I think we did about eight or nine rounds of six minutes. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. right? Six minutes. Um, tough training. Um, did a lot of leg entanglements to prepare for ADCC. I like purposely grabbed partners that I knew would be attacking my legs to uh, prepare for it. Um, and I was also attacking more. Um, and I'm looking forward to ADCC. I'm super excited. Uh, we did the East Coast Trials a couple months ago. and. It went okay, I think we both could have done a little bit better. Um, he went a little bit further than me. I got caught in the semi-finals, Ethan, that guy is sick. He's got good jiu-jitsu. Yeah, Ethan, shout out to Ethan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're homies now. Yeah, but I don't know, I mean, we both just did our best, and I don't know, maybe some people were surprised. I think just because the fact that we are they're pretty young still, I think might have surprised some people, um, especially for Ty, because he made it a little bit further. But, um, but we've been training with adults for, for years now. It's not like we went into an adult tournament like without training with adults, like this is a new thing. But we've been training with adults for years, so it wasn't something like that we were like, it was something that we were kind of used to, you know? But I think we've been training a lot more for, for this kind of rule set. So this time around, I think, um, well our whole entire preparation leading up to it is gonna be completely different. So hopefully the outcome will be you know, different as well. Different as well. Um, so we just prepared each other the best we could. You know, me and him are like the best trade partners we could ever ask for. So we're always looking for the back or a submission. Um, so you see a lot of. I think, especially because the West Coast, I feel like there's gonna be so many more people and so many high-level athletes. Um, I'm sure like John, Nikki, all those guys are gonna be in there. So um, I think there's gonna be a lot of awesome matches, very exciting matches, submission grappling, um, and you can know that. Me and Ty are gonna be hunting for the subs and the back takes for sure. You know, I say this this morning, I'll say again, okay? So the only way for you to grow, okay, is other pressure. Awesome. Right? So no pressure, no growth. You have a talent, you have a gift, and that gift can only grow if you uh, put pressure on top of that. Okay guys, that's the message. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys like the training. Don't forget about the Tasmania Devil Guard Pass. It works 60% of the time, works every time. All right? Okay guys, thank you. Have a great night. See you Thank you. All right, just wrapping things up here at Atos HQ, I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm pretty dead. We did 10 six minute rounds. Um, I, was, I, I was wavering a little bit, man. There's some tough rounds, got some tough rolls, rolled with Adam Bradley, of course, got to roll with uh, one, of the, one of the ADCC greats, or the ADCC great, Andre Galvao. Got to roll with the killer himself, Josh Hinger. Um, a lot of fun, they tried to break me, but you can't hurt me. Ten, 10 rounds, six minutes. Been listening to a lot of David Goggins lately, so, you know, just tried to, Tried to push through. Uh, it was a lot of fun though, man. Uh, I love coming here to Atos. It's the, some of the highest level training, of course, that you'll get anywhere in the world. And, um, you know, Andre taught a, a, a little pass and, and then they, um, they just rolled hard. You know, they roll hard here. The guys are getting ready for, for ADCC trials. Uh, man, it's such, such a fun time here. It was really uh, refreshing, man. They keep it light. You know, it's hard, hard training. But uh, Andre has a real fun personality and it really rubs off on the, on the rest of the crew here. So a really, really fun training session. You know, you forget sometimes that jiu-jitsu can be a lot of fun. You know, it, it's hard to get smashed and, and uh, all that, but uh, jiu-jitsu is so much fun, right? You, you gotta remember that every once in a while. So good to be reminded of that. Um, and yeah, this weekend, ADCC trials. I know Atos is ready, so I'll see you guys there.